Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a what sold video. So I thought I would take you upstairs first. Um, basically, this is my process from start to finish on shipping. <laughs> so I first come up here to my office to write down my SKU numbers for all my sales so I know what I need to pull out. And then I pull it out, obviously, <laughs> um, which is downstairs, all my inventory. And then I'll come back up here um, to put everything in the packaging to ship out. It's a lot of up and down, but it's okay because uh, that's just what works for me. So let's go ahead and start. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to open up my Vendu because it will pull my sales from all the different platforms. It used to be, uh, before I had Vendu, I would have to go open up each platform to see what my sales were and then go over to my Poshmark cl closet to get the SKUs because that's where I kept the SKUs was in my Poshmark listings. Um, sorry, I'm having a customer service issue. Okay, um, so anyways, then uh, nowadays I just go on to my Vendu because everything is right here. So the first thing that sold, um, this is an eBay sale. This is a plaid. So what I do is I just write down a brief description, usually color or like this is plaid. So I wrote down plaid and then my SKU is right here on this item. So it's FF9, uh, triple F9. All my newer listings or listings that I have recently cross listed will have a SKU here. I'm working on making sure all of my listings have that, but some of the older ones like this one, that have been cross-listed for a while are not going to have that. So I have to actually open up the listing to find the SKU number. Um, so I, it looks like I have a few like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through all of these and pull my SKUs and write them down. And then once I get that, we will head downstairs to pull out the items and I will give you guys um, information on how much everything sold for and everything like that. I think almost all my sales were clothing sales this time. I might have had a couple, yeah, like this this basket sold um, and some jewelry, but most of it is clothing. So I'm gonna go ahead and write down my SKUs and I'll be right back with you guys. All right, so I have my numbers written down. That's what it looks like. <laughs> And I already have two items that were upstairs that I pulled out. So I had some jewelry that sold, a necklace that sold, which is from this drawer right here. This is where I store my jewelry. I'll show you guys that in detail sometime if you wanna see it. Um, and then I had a pair of jeans that sold, which I had just listed. So these were still upstairs um, waiting to get skewed. So I do have under here. Um, this bin is jeans that are waiting to get SKUs and that bin is clothing waiting to get SKUs. So all of those are listed, um, but I know that I just listed them within the past like week, week and a half at the most. Um, so if something sells that quickly, I know to look under here and it won't, and this there won't be a SKU and I know it's under there. So I already have those two. Um, did I say, oh, I don't know if I already said this, but I'm gonna say it again just in case I didn't. I have 15 sales going out today, so that means um, I have 13 more items that need pulled that we're gonna walk downstairs to find. Um, and today is actually, um, it's Monday, but it's a holiday. It's uh, Labor Day. So um, this is sales from the entire weekend. So I normally ship every Monday, Wednesday, Friday in the mornings because my uh, mailman usually usually gets here like not between 9 and 10 a.m. She gets here pretty early um, and I do schedule pickups in advance. So I make sure I have all my shipping ready the night before. Um, so in the morning, I can just set it out on my porch when I'm drinking my coffee in the morning and that way I don't forget and it doesn't get missed being picked up. So um, I haven't shipped since um, Friday morning, which means um, this these 15 items sold from you know Friday during the daytime um, all the way up until now, which it's currently Monday, like around six o'clock in the evening. So 15 sales, um, not amazing for a holiday weekend, but right now, I'm just happy that I'm getting sales again because things were really, really dead for a while. So um, any sales are very welcomed at this point, um, but things really have been picking up quite a bit. I think I flipped the wrong switch. So I'm just turning my lights on down here real quick so that I can see better and you guys can see what I'm doing. There we go. All right, so let's see. I have a triple F bin, so we're gonna start there. 
Let me see if I have any other triple bins. Um, the way that my lettering works or my bins work, I have um, a single alphabet, like just A through Z. Then I have a double alphabet, like a, double A through double Z, a triple alphabet, and then I have a um, A bins. So the A bins go from A, B to A, Z. That's how I have my storage. I have one bin, which is an oversized item bin right here. And then I have coats and like long, larger dresses on that rack. I keep my denim in, whoops, notch that over. I keep my denim in this closet here, just kind of stacked up like that. And then my shoes are kind of on shelving like this throughout the downstairs. I do have makeup stored up here. And I have hard goods in a few places, which I'm currently in the process of reorganizing my hard goods. So I'm not going to show you guys that. And also, I didn't sell any hard goods today. So we're going to start in the triple bins. And usually what I try to do is I'll check my list and move ahead because I have it written in no particular order. Um, so any triples, I'll pull at the same time. So I'm not like going over to the triple section and then going back over there and coming back and forth and back and forth. I just look through my whole list. There's only one item sold in the triple alphabet section, which is triple F. So we'll just go ahead and grab that real quick. Okay, so this first item, this is a men's button down plaid shirt. It's from a brand I've never heard of before. It's called um, Southern Point something Southern Point Company. Uh, this actually sold on eBay. I will put the comp on the screen. I took an offer, I think for like 15, I want to say 15 to $18, somewhere in that range, but I'll put it up here what it sold for. This I actually got from a mystery box, like a reseller mystery box. And it was one of those things that's like, you know, a lesson that you need to learn sometimes. <laughs> I've ordered mystery boxes many times in the past and always swore I would never do it again. But this person I had um, had good experiences with buying from her in particular before through a reseller Facebook group, but um, I took a chance on a new box that she offered and it was terrible. It was really bad. I did post an entire video on it, which I'll link above in case you're interested in seeing that. Um, but it's one of the worst <laughs> purchases I've made as a reseller. So, um, anything selling out of that box makes me happy. It's not something I would have bought. Um, in fact, that particular item that just sold, I don't think there was anything in the box that I got from her that I would have gone out and purchased, especially at the price point that I paid, which I don't remember at this time. But anyway, glad that that actually sold. I think that might be the first thing I've sold from the box of stuff I bought from her. So yeah, it was, it wasn't a good box. All right, next we're going to move on to the single alphabet. Do I, wait, do I have any single alphabet? I don't, uh, I have one, just W15. W15 is blue. Let's come over here. W15 is in the stacked, in the stack. So I have two spots where I stack bins. Um, I used to have stacked bins all over the place, but now there's just two because everything else is on shelves. So it makes it a lot easier to get out. Um, but unfortunately, there was a couple awkward spots in this office where I couldn't fit a shelf, so we have these stacked bins. Okay, so this is what I sold. It is a Pendleton vintage v-neck um, vest, sweater vest, and it is very cute. I got this actually from the bins, and okay, that sweater sold for $24 on Poshmark. All right, now we are going to move on to the double letters. I think I only have uh, two, two double letter cells. Um, one is double B. It's right in front of me actually. So double B 18, which is a blazer. Um, this also sold on, no, this one sold on eBay. Actually I have five eBay sales. This was one of my eBay sales. Um, it sold for 1638. Um, this blazer has a flaw on it that I didn't notice when I had, um, originally bought it from the bins. Um, it has like a, a hole at the seam, so it's not a big flaw, but, um, yeah, I just discounted it because I just wanted it to move quickly. So I have that one. And then let's go to the next one is double I. Here we go. Double I 41. Um, this one is also blue and also sold for $24. All right. This sold actually on Poshmark and uh, yeah, this one is Adidas. So this is uh, just like a blouse, an Adidas blouse that sold for $24 on Poshmark. 
All right, the rest of the sales are gonna be on this side, which are all my A bins. Um, so the first one is AO14. So AO is here, and that one is gonna be Mauve AO14. Okay, so this is actually a plus size blouse, uh, blouse from the brand Woman Within. Um, this was actually given to me from my mom to sell. So my cost of goods is zero. And that one sold for $15. Um, that also sold on eBay. So by the way, all the eBay sales, the buyers paid shipping. Okay, I'm gonna pull the rest of these real quick and then we'll head upstairs and I'll tell you the rest of the sales as I'm shipping. Okay, so I'm now upstairs and we're gonna go ahead and ship all these items. I have them all next to me. I'll go through the ones that I haven't already go, gone through with you guys to let you know what they sold for and all of that good stuff. Um, for shipping supplies, I don't really have a great setup right now. I'm working on reorganizing my office upstairs if you guys haven't been watching my vlog series definitely check those out i've been in the process of basically um redoing my entire office but right now i'm working on the upstairs area and um i the next thing i need to work on is setting up my shipping station so anyways um for tonight i'm going to be using this mailer which i get for free with my ebay like ebay store subscription you get free um you know like products shipping supplies I'm going to be using this for the jewelry and then for any Poshmark or eBay clothing sales, I use these free mailers um, also from the eBay supply store. So I use my quarterly credits for those. I'm out of the bigger ones right now and these are a little small. So hopefully I can fit everything in these. I need to order some more. I think I have a coupon ready to go. Um, and then for Poshmark orders, I typically use the free Tyvek Valor, Tyvek mailers from USPS, but I'm out right now. So I'm going to be using the priority mail, flat, ro flat rate padded. Oh my goodness. I can't talk. I'm getting tongue twisted. Um, the padded mailers, those, um, I have a bunch of those on hand, so I'm just going to use those for now. I have ordered more Tyvek mailers. They just haven't shown up yet. So, um, that's usually what I use for clothing sales from Poshmark. So anyways, let's finish up. So, um, this is a pair of Polo Ralph Lauren, um, men's jeans that I actually just bought these recently. Like I said, these, um, sold really quickly within a couple of days. Uh, these ones sold on eBay for full asking price of $35 plus shipping. And I'm going to be shipping these ones out in hopefully <laughs> in one of these mailers, if I can get it to fit in there. Like I said, I'm out of the larger ones. I usually have a larger size on these and I ran out, so I need to order some more, but hopefully I can get these jeans to fit. As soon as I'm done shipping, I'm definitely going to be ordering some more mailers because these are small, but I did get them to fit. So then since this is an eBay sale, I still need to create my labels, my Poshmark labels. I have already printed. I printed those in bulk and then I have one Depop sale, which I will print out in a minute. Uh, by the way, if you guys noticed that, I got um, some paint on my arm. I was helping my dad paint his house and it's actually, it's stain. It's not paint, it's wood stain and it does not want to come off. I keep scrubbing at it and it's just is stuck. All right, I'm weighing this real quick. Um, I'm using my weight, my scale to hold my phone. So anyways, um, okay, so let me create my label for that item. The next thing that sold were these pair of Theory trousers. Um, I'm a lot more selective on on Theory nowadays, but these trousers are like a flare leg and they're super cute. And they have these um, flat pockets in the back. They're a bit wrinkled because they were folded up in a little bag, but they're in very good condition other than being wrinkled. These sold on Poshmark for $36. That was an offer that was sent to me from my buyer. Yeah, Poshmark, 20% fees. So I'm gonna put this in a padded envelope, get the label on that, and we'll send that out. Okay, the next sale is wooden ships. Where's my label? Here it is. It's a wooden ships, uh, like a poncho sweater. These ones, um, the sizes on the back, it's a size small slash medium. It's a really cute, like very slouchy, oversized, lagging look. Super cute. Um, this took longer to sell than I thought it would. Usually my uh, wooden ships sweaters that I've purchased in the past have always sold within like two months at the most. 
this actually sat for about six months, but you know, we were in the middle or heading into summer, I guess, when I listed that. So I don't know, it's just heading into fall now. So I guess it was just the right time for it to sell. That one sold for $34 on Poshmark. So the way that I do this on Poshmark is I just print in bulk all my labels. So I had like, I don't know, 12 labels or something. And I go by the buyer's name on the order and the buyer's name tells me which, which um, label to use. That most of the time works, but every once in a while you'll have a buyer who changes their username. So like they'll purchase the item and then when you go to print the label in that amount of time they change their username so then you have to look at the um, order number or what i'll do is i'll um if i can't find a buyer that matches an item i'll just do all the rest of my sales and whatever labels left um i know it's that one but i'll double check the order number to make sure it's the right thing all right next we have a pair of leggings these sold on poshmark as well um they are from the brand dyi i don't even remember where i got these I've thread up. I've just had them forever and it's not a brand I would pick up. So anyway, they're like a uh, moto style legging and a size small and they sold for $18 on Poshmark. Also, I do take the bags that have the skew on them and I save these. I put them off to the side here. I have a bin that I put them in and then um, inventory that I showed you earlier that needs to be put away still. Um, I'll recycle those bags and that way I know what bins have room in them because I sold something out of that bin and so the bag basically is like a placeholder. So when I have an empty bag from a bin, I know I can put a new item in that particular bin. Um, so yeah, it's a very seamless system as long as I uh, get my skews put in correctly. Oh, I just put this away, but this is a pair of Worthington pants. I'll just insert a picture since I put them away without showing you. Um, these I actually bought for myself. Um, I did get them on sale at like um, a thrift store, a smaller thrift store a while ago, but um, I brought them home, tried them on and they didn't fit right. So I decided to try to sell them. They're from Worthington, not a brand I would normally pick up for resale, um, but they were so cute. They're like a wide leg high rise trouser in a size 12, which is a good size for resale as well. So I thought I would just go ahead and try to at least get my money back since I wasn't even able to wear them. So those sold fairly quickly within a couple of months um, on Poshmark for $15. The next sell is Torrid and this is a size one, which is a one X and it's a chambray button down long sleeve. Um, this only sold for $13. I had a buyer send me the offer and honestly right now I'm just almost taking any offer as long as I'm not losing money, as long as I'm making a little bit of money because I am really trying to move inventory, especially if it's something I've been sitting on for a little bit. Um, I'm not going to say that I'm going to be able to take every offer. So if you go to my Poshmark and I can't take your offer, um, please understand like I'm, I'm not about losing money and if it's something I just got and have a lot of interest on, I'm going to be a little less flexible. Um, but I am trying to move inventory. So I am willing to make deals. So if you want to check out my closet, um, it is linked down below and I have 4,800 active listings in my Poshmark. I just checked it today. So definitely a lot to pick from. So next we have this J crew sweater. Um, this is a wool sweater and it's a navy blue and white stripe. I actually um, haven't had this that long, probably like three or four months. I kind of figured it would sit for a bit since it was out of season, but it did just sell. So sweaters are selling, you guys, so definitely get them listed if you got them. Um, that sold for $18, and again, that was an offer, which I accepted, obviously, so $18 on Poshmark. Okay, so actually, this is the last Poshmark sale. This is a necklace, and the brand is 1925. Um, this came from a um, goodwill.com or it's shop. It's called shopgoodwill.com auction for bulk jewelry. I purchased quite a few, um, jewelry lots a while back. And, um, I think there was like three or four that I bought and they were really large lots and I went through them all and I've been slowly selling all of it. And, um, as, as you can see from that drawer, most of that came from those jewelry lots. Some of it came from local estate sales, but most of that came from jewelry lots. I've already made a profit. Everything I'm selling now is um, just gravy. Um, and this necklace sold for $16 on Poshmark. 
I'm going to wrap this up in tissue paper and then put it in that bubble mailer that I showed you. If it was a more fragile piece, I would probably put it in a box, but it's not very fragile, so I think that should do just fine. Okay, so I thought I would jump back on here to show you the last two sales and also show you the last thing I do after I have already um, gone ahead and packaged everything. I actually have my box sitting behind me or it's like a tub sitting behind me full of all of my packages. The last thing I do is I come back to my Vendoo and I add my sale details. Now, I'm not gonna go through all of these with you right now because this video is already really long um, and uh, it's getting late. So um, I'm just gonna go through these last, last sales. There we go. Show you uh, what they sold for and show you how I close them out in my system. So as you guys could see, I have um, my active listings sitting on top here. So there's 15 sales going out today. Once I ship them, I put this information in so it clears out of my pending and that way I can always see in that top part of my vendue sales uh, what which sales are pending and need ship still and it just it really simplifies things. By the way, um, I talk about vendue all the time. You guys know that I love it if you watch my videos. It has been a huge game changer for my business and if you are interested in signing up i always have it linked down below it is a referral link so i do get a little bit of commission if you sign up through my link um so thank you to everyone who has used my link and if you are interested um i appreciate you okay so the next thing that sold was these shoes these are a pair of leather uh like uh, slip on mules I actually just bought these a couple weeks ago um, and I took an offer on Depop much lower than I would normally. Um, I have these listed at 20, but someone sent me an offer on Depop for $13.60. And the way the Depop works is kind of like eBay. They send you an offer and you can accept the offer, but it doesn't mean that they're then going to pay for the item. In fact, it's worse than eBay because it basically says, um, I sent them an offer. So they can send me an offer. If you're not on Depop, it's very confusing. They send me the offer for $13.60. I accept their offer, which sends it back to them saying, hey, now um, she will take $13.60. Do you want to actually buy this? And so I get a lot of offers on Depop and um, uh, most of the time they don't actually buy it. So when this offer came through, I was like, eh, fine, whatever, I'll accept it. Not actually expecting them to buy it, but they did. So um, I let these go a little less than I probably would have normally. I would have countered um, to like probably 15 to $16, but that's okay. I got a sale on Depop. So um, by the way, if you didn't know, Depop just got rid of their selling fees. So they are the same as Macari now. There are no selling fees. And I always do the Depop shipping label. So I didn't cost me anything to ship the item. Um, and these cost me $2 and 50 cents. I bought them on a dollar 99 day. And I estimate that with my, um, cost of goods and everything is about two fifty. Um, or with taxes, sorry, my cost of goods is about two fifty. Okay. So it's a, it's a little less than that, but I just round to two fifty. Okay. Next we have this blazer. Oh wait, no, sorry. Uh, we already went through the blazer. The other thing I have not talked about was this here. Um, this is really cool. I wish I still had it out. I've already put it in the box to go because I needed the numbers for what the shipping cost and everything. Cause this sold on eBay so that I could put this in here. This, this is why I, um, enter the information for my sales after I do my shipping because eBay shipping costs and everything depends on um, the labels that I have to print. So um, I do this after, but anyways, this sold, um, I took a really low offer on this too because I need those eBay sales, you guys. I'm taking low offers right now, getting things to move. Um, but my cost of goods on this was really low. We'll go to that next. I only paid 75 cents for this. So 0.75. Um, I got this at a church rummage sale and it was one of those sales where you uh, make a pile and then you donate. And I had a huge pile. I didn't know what to pay for it. And I was kind of going back and forth. I didn't want to offend them, but I also didn't want to overpay. And it's really hard when I didn't remember everything that was in my pile, especially because I had two of my daughters with me and they had added some stuff and I didn't know what they had added. So I offered 40 and then at the end I realized that I actually paid a little less than a dollar per item. So I got a good deal didn't mean to, um, but I've been to there before and I've given them a good amount for other things. So I don't feel it even not evened out. I think anyway, um, 
This is a Cozeal Alice Shopper Orange Plastic Floral Tote. These are made in like Germany or something or um, I don't know. They're, they're from a foreign country, but um, somewhere in Europe. And they're really, really well made. I mean, it's very heavy duty plastic. And this one is really cute because it has like a floral embroidery stamp on it. Um, you can get these plain without any um, like uh, design on them, just a plain shopper. They still sell these and I think they're selling for like around 40, but this one was really cool because I had the floral design on it and it was a color that they don't have anymore, the orange color. So anyways, um, they were, I saw a s exact same one sell for like $80. So I priced mine at 50, but someone offered me 20 and I was just like, you know what? My cost of goods, my cost of goods is low. I need these eBay sales. I'm just going to take it. So I did. Anyways, that's a big expl explanation. <laughs> Let's just get into the last numbers. So, um, you put all these numbers in here so that you can see your, <clears throat> your sales numbers because you can track um, all of your cost of goods and everything in here, which is really, really nice. Uh, my transaction fees for this was 5.91. My transaction fees are higher right now because I am um, in the below standard category, so they have higher fees, it sucks. Um, 9.69, oh, actually, sorry about that. Um, $20 it sold for, but also $9 shipping. So I always include that here. So it was $29 received from the buyer. And uh, this was my marketplace fees. It actually cost 9.69 to shop. So I undercharged a little bit for shipping. And that is my final numbers for that item. All right, and so what I wanted to show you guys real quick before I end out this what sold video, the reason I put that information in is because then I can go to my analytics and it will tell me what my sales numbers are. I can compare month to month and all of that good stuff. Um, it doesn't wanna load right now. Oh, here we go. Um, but also I've only entered in information for two sales, so it's not loading correctly right now. I think my internet's just not very good. I'm out in my office, but normally you can see a lot better. Let's see if it can do the last seven days. Here we go. Um, so all this right here is because those sales are still sitting in my pending and I need to finish putting in all the information like I just did for those two sales. But um, anyways, it will show you how many items you've sold, what's your total revenue, what's your total profit after, cost of goods, sell, um, selling fees and all of that. So it's very handy. It also tells you which um, marketplaces you're selling the most on. So in the last ten, uh, seven days, was it? Yeah, last seven days, 10 Poshmark, to eBay, one Depop again. This is not including those 12 or 13 items I still have to qualify. So anyway, that's how it works. I love it. And that's it for this what sold video. It's getting super late. I'm really tired. I'm sure you can tell I'm a little goofy now. <laughs> I'm gonna go to bed. But thank you for watching. If you stuck through this whole video, I really appreciate you. And um, subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. And give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye now.